Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to the 13 Souls Challenge Part 4. I was about to say Part 3, it is Part 4 and welcome back. We are joining Paige. I have played a fair few days off screen so I'm gonna catch you guys up on what has been crack a in Paige's life. Um, so I kind of did a lot. <laughs> Basically, she completed her thing that she was on, the rank of the best-selling author she was on. She got five excellent books done. So she reached three out of four on the best-selling author rank and I decided to get her a PC as a reward to just like say, hey, you did a good job. Look, her bush is covering her bush. <laughs> Oh my goodness, what is wrong with me? I am pre-recording right now, so if my videos get weird for like the next week, I do apologize, but I gotta pre-record before I go on my family holiday. Do not eat those franken beans. I swear, I'm gonna throw them out because they are making you fart, sister. Um, she did actually catch on fire again. I'm kind of hoping that I've fixed whatever the hell that was because I don't think it was just a random incident that could occur in The Sims 4. I think it's because I played around with a cheat to actually like do the whole machinima bit uh, in the trailer. So I uh, hopefully have fixed that. I'm not too sure. Fingers crossed for me guys. Knock on some wood. I just knocked on my own door. Um, so knock on wood, she's not gonna self-combust again. It is quite fitting in the storyline that like Grim wants to kick her up the butt and you know, a good old self-combustion is definitely a way to do that. However, I kinda don't want Paige to die. Um, so I tried to fix it, hopefully it's fixed, fingers crossed. So yeah, basically she's just gone up. She's completed three bestsellers, which are all still in my inventory. Um, and she can now submit book copy to the Literary Digest, but you can only do it once a week. That was the next level that I was talking about on uh, the publishing scale. So I think I'm gonna submit all of her bestsellers to these guys. Um, because you get a really big amount of royalties with them. So I think I'll keep my bestsellers for them and then just kind of like sell to publisher all the other books that she kind of creates in the meantime. Speaking of, does she have any that aren't bestsellers? That one's a bestseller. Uh, that one is a bestseller. That one's a bestseller. Okay, so we'll leave those ones because they are all bestsellers. What do you want to do? Ask a sim about their day and make a friend. The only friend we currently have is Lily Feng. I mean, that's quite good because she does have one of the traits that we do need, whereas Miss Lily... Oh, Marcus is now our friend as well. We... He currently has unknown traits. I'm fairly sure he does have the active trait, so hopefully that will be one. I really need to start keeping this webpage open. I swear, I always lose the webpage with like all the traits on, annoyingly. Don't ask me why I haven't screenshotted it like a normal person would do, but I haven't. Um, so yeah, what trait does she have? She has the genius trait, which is the mind essence. So we can definitely kill off Lily. We definitely got to keep her as a friend. Uh, what are you about to do? Clean out spoiled food. I hope it's those frankenbeans. I hope they have gone spoiled, girl. Um, but yes, I have actually also bought, if we open this up, I have bought the Potion of Youth. She reached 1,500 in her aspiration things. She can get another one, but I think today we're gonna try and get a cow plant for ourselves. Number one, a cow plant is very viable in this challenge because not only does it produce like youth potions to to, um, like essence of youth I think it has I'm not too sure but it creates something that can like decrease your sims age which is great because we really don't want to age up we want to stay a young adult for as long as we possibly can um, and kind of just keep re-rolling through young adulthood um, just so that we don't get any points decreased. I still haven't decided whether I'm gonna go with the point system in this challenge. I've never followed a point system before in a challenge and 
it's kind of easier to do when you're streaming because you can kind of see the points but obviously because I'm pre-recording at the minute I can't stream to you guys because I'm going to Wales with my family next Saturday. Right let's head on over to the back pond which looks very dry right now but we're gonna go fishing over here hopefully we can find ourselves a cow plant because the cow plant is gonna be our best friend in this challenge it seriously is not only does it give us potions it can also be used to kill people off you do get minus points for adding a sim to your family or like asking them to move in so like one of you guys had a really cool idea to have every um every kind of trait match up to i can't remember what you said you said like match I can't remember what you guys said, but one of you had a really, really awesome idea about like the traits matching up to a death, I think it was. Um, so like say the active trait, you could like overexert them, but the only way you can really do that is by having a sim move into your household. I mean, we could ask sims to move in with us. If you guys don't mind me doing that so I can kind of control their deaths a little bit more um, so that get deaths don't kind of get repetitive, then just let me know down in the comments what you want to see. I mean, if you want me just to try and kill them off by fluctuating their emotions making them super angry and stuff we can also try that but i don't know how difficult it's gonna be until we actually have to get around to killing 13 people i mean in the black widow we had to kill 10 people but that wasn't so hard because each one of them became married to eden and was in the household and we could manipulate things to make it look like an accident um when really we all knew that eden was just like hella messed up and wanted all the money <laughs> she was a monster looking back on Eden she was a monster and apparently Paige is like a bigger one which I can't even see because Paige just looks like such a tiny little adorable thing is this a cow plant or is this an apple apple or cow plant apple log yes we got a cow plant hell yes that's all we wanted from today 9 a.m and this part's already done and dusted i've got everything that i wanted but we are gonna go and meet some people try and uh try and explore oh there's the cute gardener again kerry i think she's an alien she invited us to aliens night at the bar the other night who's this Kelly Richard. I feel like Nancy is gonna have something, so let's give her a friendly intro. Hopefully she will stop jogging. She just looks like such a soccer mom. Does she not? Like, when you look at Nancy Langrab, you're like, you are a literal soccer mom. <laughs> she really reminds me of Alison from Orphan Black. That's the kind of vibe I get from Nancy Langrab. Don Lothario, I'm fairly sure, is romantic or something or like non-committal and i don't know whether non-committal is one uh da, da, da. no romantic is um but non-committal is oh yeah non-committal is lust okay so i reckon don lothario is definitely non-committal i'm fairly sure he is anyway or jay one of the two one of those boys that you would suspect is non-committal definitely has that trait. Right, here we go. Let's see if Nancy has anything. She's snob, materialistic, and ambitious. Ooh, I feel like, yeah, materialistic. Girl, you are a greedy mofo. You are about to be my greedy one. Let's get to know her a bit more. We're gonna try and make her a friend. I need to get rid of these pants because they are making people look like demons. I need to get rid of so much custom content. That needs to be a thing that I do when I get back from my holiday. I just need to sort out my game. Oi, can you not? I'm trying to talk to you. Oh, yep, just stand inside her. That makes sense. <laughs> if, if at first she doesn't listen to you, stand on top of her head and she will at some point. Whoa, look at all those royalties we got. Holy hell, that is crazy. There's our bae, Marcus. He actually needs to be our boyfriend. Actually, no, he's athletic. He doesn't, no, he doesn't need. Swipe that, he doesn't need to be our boyfriend. Um, The one who has the non-committal trait has to be our boyfriend. So, uh, that means we have to 
fall in love with Don Lothario, or at least pretend that we're in love with Don Lothario, and I kind of don't want to do that. She's feeling really tense because she's a loner, and she's like, why am I outside? Seriously, I'm melting. So I think we're going to um, maybe take her over back to the library, try and get a level 10 in writing skill, and then it's really all about the royalties. Actually, what I want to do is go home and make sure we plant our cow plant. Let's get that on the go so I know that it's ready and waiting. Right, so uh, do, 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 do. Where, where do we live? We live in Windenburg. I always do that. I always look at uh, like choices. I'm like, where does this sim live again? Because I have so many let's plays on like the go. I'm constantly like, where does this family live? Although two of them are living in Windenburg right now and then one of them's living in San Marcino. Speaking of, I was gonna upload Parenthood today, but I kind of want to wait until uh, do, 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 toddler stuff is out. And I just wanted to hold off because I just think toddler stuff is gonna work so well with that. Right, can we plant the cow plant seed in here? No? He has to be in a big one, does he? Right, well, he's just being needy, isn't he? Jeez Louise. Um, let's get... Outside, outside, outside. We need one of the big planters, because I don't want to just have him in the grass, just like chilling. Um, so let's get one of those big planters. Here we go. Let's get you. Let's kind of hide him a little bit, like around the back of our house. There we go. And where is he? He's in the shade, so this probably isn't the best area for him, but we shall see. And you can go there, Mr. Cowplant. Okay, now let's not eat it. Let's plant him. <laughs> I do not want to eat the cowplant. Then all of my hard work would have been for nothing. She made an awkward comment. Of course she did. She's like the most awkward person ever. Right, go on. What's that noise? Why did that just happen? Don't do this to me, game. Stop playing random noises that sound like they're a bad thing. There we go. We planted him. Can we water him? Why can't we? Oh. We can't plant him in there. I thought... Oh, maybe we have to move him in there afterwards. How weird. Well, let's plant him on the ground for now. And then we'll move him into a planter afterwards. Let's plant him. Go on. Replant him because he's not germinated. So hopefully he'll germinate here. Maybe it's... Oh, there we go. He germinated. Hey, let's water him. We are not going to hire a professional gardener because they're going to look at this and be like, why the hell are you growing a plant that eats people? Like, this is not okay. So we aren't going to do that. Uh, but what we are going to do is actually take a thoughtful shower and then let's get writing. Let's speed write some books out of Paige. I love how she wants to be a best-selling author and her name is Paige. It just makes me giggle every time. All about those puns. Right, let's write another children's book. I'm almost out of otter puns. <laughs> I'm almost otter otter puns. <laughs> Um, I've already put tigers don't take, uh, otters don't take naps, so why don't we go for, du, 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 du. I don't know if we've done otter this world, I have no idea, we probably have, but let's do it again, like I said, I'm, I'm getting bad at coming up with these now, I'm like, ah, there's too many, I have too many books and I can't think of all the otter puns. Although there are a lot more than I expected there to be. I actually didn't want this to be like a running theme, but then it happened on stream and it kind of just happened naturally. And then I was absolutely loving life because you guys know I love a good pun. And it just came from there. Although I do need to check out your comments for sure. Um, and kind of take screenshots of all the comments that you suggest and book names that you guys suggest. Right, come on Paige, get it done. She's like halfway through. This is gonna take a while. I might just have her practice writing skill instead of like writing books. Cause although writing books does get it up, I feel like practice writing, uh, I don't know actually. Because you may as well be productive. You may as well try and get some books out of her that she can publish and get some money for instead of just, like, 
practicing writing because then it's kind of just like oh I'm doing all this practice but for nothing to be honest I'm only doing the practicing to get the numbers I'm not gonna get any money out of it because we all know it's about the money <laughs> no I feel like Paige is just a uh, she just loves writing anyway. She's always wanted to be a best-selling author and I kind of want to have her go out and explore her photography a bit more as well. Um, I feel like she'd have more photography up on her walls and stuff, which currently she doesn't. Her house is very plain Jane, but then again, she is a very plain Jane kind of person. Did that break on me? Better not broken on me. No, she just finished a book. Okay, so she finished one. And what is she on? I just want to get this bestseller thing done. You know what? We are just going to have her... We are just going to have her practice writing. I feel like I should do this off screen. But then also, I want you guys to see that I am doing it. And I don't just want to be like, hey, I did all of this off screen. And then have like nothing to show for it. Because I feel like... Although I'm not cheating, it's a bit like, oh, well, you just did all of it off screen, so what's the point? But then I also don't want to bore you guys with just having to watch a sim write, if you know what I mean. It's it's a tough decision, but I mean, we're almost there. We've got like, what? We've got 25% left, which is fine. Although I am going to have her stop now because it's 6pm and I don't want her to be writing the whole day away. Um... So let's go use this and then I kind of want to take her out. I don't think we have any restaurants around here though. I don't think I've placed in any restaurants and I kind of do want to like... Paige is definitely the type to... Uh, who are you and why did you just spawn down there? I swear I have never seen a person spawn down here. Are you... are you like a... why are you living in there? Are you an alien of some sort, Ruby? That is not right. That is the government hiding something from us. Ruby just came out of there. I have legit never seen a person spawn down here. And I've been playing as Paige for a while now. How did that just happen? Right, eat here instead. Um, open, let's have some tofu tacos. And then we're going to go out. Paige is definitely the type of person just to go out and about by herself. She is a loner. She doesn't really care what people think about her, which is also why I think the Grimm kind of chose her because he was like, you know what? No one's going to notice any different about you, <laughs> which sounds harsh as hell. Like, oh yeah, you could start killing people and no one's going to suspect a thing because you have zero friends. But it is also kind of true. Like she is totally unassuming and you wouldn't look at Paige and be like, oh my God, like you look like you've had no sleep. You look like you're being haunted but you wouldn't think anything different of it because you're like, you are that weird girl who probably stays up all night just to write her books and like visits creepy places to get things for books and stuff like ideas for books and things like that. So it really wouldn't surprise me. Oh, look, Bako's going there now. We have a child. <gasps> a child. <laughs> look, they're all going down into the weird government, like... Does the, the Sims even have a government? Yes, they do, because you can be a politician. So they do have a government. They're definitely hiding something from us, guys. We already know that aliens exist. We already know that vampires exist. So what the else could it be? What the heck else could it be? I don't know where I want to go travel, but I want to go travel. Because I feel like we spent a lot of the day inside. Like, we got our cow plant, but that was about it. Uh, we could go to the ruins, but I doubt there's anything on at the ruins. We could go to a bar. Should we go to a bar? Yeah. Or we could go to the Narwhal Arms. Although that's kind of boring. I need to get a better nightclub. Because this one's cool. Like, discotheque is cool. But also, like, mm, Old Quarter Inn. Let's go to the Old Quarter Inn. No, we're gonna, we're gonna go out of our comfort zone. We always hang around in this little bit, you know. We've got our coffee shop, we've got our library, and we have our house. That is our comfort zone. So we're gonna try and step out of it for a little bit. I feel like I've got, like, so much spit in my mouth right now. I know that sounds disgusting, but sometimes I just get it. I think it's when I use my mouthwash in the morning, and then I go to record after I've used it, and my mouth's still, like... Uh, on fire, <laughs> needs water. Uh, afterlife can be tough. Come tell the local bartender all about... He knows, guys. The bartender knows. It's ghost night. 
Oh my god, are you serious? How can it be? Kenji. Oh. Just the other day I was revealing your true identity. And now, now you're dead. Oh my god, it's true. Everything we touch is cursed. But he knows. Shingo. He knows that we... He knows what we're doing. He knows all about the afterlife and he's planned ghost night just to haunt us. Oh man, let's go give him a friendly intro. Oh man, if you have one of my traits, buddy, you're on my list. You know too much. Illuminati confirmed. <laughs> he knows far too much. Oh my goodness. So, so. Uh, he's a geek, he's good, and he's an art lover. I don't think any of those. Damn it! None of those are a trait that we need. So annoying. Oh, I can't believe it's ghost night. He definitely knows too much. Let's compliment his outfit. Let's try and, like, I don't know. Try and uh, at least get him off our trail a little bit. Can we order a drink? Let's go for our favorite drink. I want to see what Paige's favorite drink is. I am curious. I also love how it's. Oh, I was going to say I love how it's. Gita! Oh, God, I forgot that we were playing. We're playing on a short lifespan. Holy crap, we need to like get a move on then because like if we don't all the elders are gonna die and they might be sims that like have Everything that we need so we really got to get moving on killing these people. Oh our favorite is buffalo wing tea It's literally all the elders Dennis Kim Spencer. Oh my goodness Everybody's dying that's what happens when you play on a short lifespan. Grim! Hey buddy, I feel like you probably shouldn't have turned up tonight. Please don't talk to me. People are definitely gonna catch on if you start talking to me. Yeah, that's it. You just stand and watch the football. That's fine. We don't have to talk. Masami. Oh, so many nice people have died. This makes me so sad, but also like... I can't believe it's ghost night. <laughs> oh my god, this is literally Illuminati confirmed. Like, the game could not have planned this any better. I freaking love it. Oh my lord. What is happening? If only I had killed you all, then that would have been five ghosts towards my 13. Holy crap, that would have been amazing. That would have been so good. And because I've added Grimmin as a ghost, I feel like once we do actually do like the 13 souls ritual, I feel like we might bring him back as a human just to kind of add on to our challenge a little bit. Just add a little spice here and there, like a dash of spice. Um, but yeah, maybe add him to our family and then like bring him back as a human. I feel like that could be fun because I think the... Um, I think the Book of Life can actually do that. It can actually restore a life in a person. I'm fairly sure, apart from like Ambrosia, because I know Ambrosia can do it, but I feel like it can do it as well. I love how we're just like here partying with freaking ghosts. What are the odds? Seriously. This could not have been any better. I feel like we should get talking to some of them. We really need to add in like a graveyard for sure, because I feel like Paige would just hang out there, you know? She would just totally go to the graveyard and just like hang out with people, scared by a ghost. Dude, everybody is a ghost here. Oh my god, even Sophia's a young adult? Holy crap, everybody's aging so quickly. We really, and now I see the problem with like hanging around with this stuff. She's cheerful, music lover, and ambitious. None of the traits which we need, unfortunately. So, Sophia, you are no- Oh, no, wait, music lover. Soul. Oh, Sophia, you are useful to me. Hell yes, you are. We are going to brighten your day. How you doing, girlfriend? <laughs> Enthused about vampires. That definitely won't give you away. Ask about her favorite author. Right, she's a music lover, and we know that. We aren't going to argue about music. Um, but we could maybe use this to our advantage. Discuss interests, sure. Give her a heartfelt compliment. And to use about iambic pentameter. This observant trait is a freaking lifesaver. But I feel like if we don't get this done soon, everyone in this town is gonna die. In all the worlds, everyone is gonna die. And then we're not gonna have anybody 
to make a ghost out of. So we need to get moving. We need to get this 25,000 in royalties, which is insane. Maybe I'll just freaking publish our bestsellers because they're going to bring in royalties. We just need the book of life, okay? I really desperately need it. And I'm kind of freaking out right now. I'm kind of having like a, I don't know what you would call it, like a, a midlife crisis. Kind of a self breakdown right here. Grim, you didn't. Uh, no, 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 don't talk to him. People will suspect. People will suspect. Let's keep ignoring him. Uh, dance to stereo music. Get creative. Finish reading a book. We don't need any of those. Okay, so she's like kind of our friend a little bit. You know what would be super easy? Um, if we get. If we have enough for it, let's check our reward store. Um, we don't need super, um, I mean, super green thumb would be handy because for every person that we kill, we need to plant a flower in like remembrance of them. So I feel like that would be handy. Um, savant, uh, I mean, gain skill much faster, definitely not needed. Uh, great kisser, not needed. Um, I feel like, um, incredibly... Incredibly friendly would be a great reward for us to have. Incredibly friendly sims are immediately liked when met with a nice introduction. Because that's going to make people our friends. It's going to mean... Oh, I mean... Oh no, that's promoted in career. We definitely don't need that. Um, writing masterworks. That's a good one as well. So I think we'll go for creative visionary first. Just so we can get our royalties up. And then I will go for incredibly friendly. Um, I mean completing all of this is definitely going to give us a lot of reward points. So yeah hopefully we'll be able to do it but i'm gonna end this part here guys it was a little bit panicky i am starting to panic now like i seriously need to get my butt moving with this stuff i am gonna have her take the potion of youth when we actually reach like a day left to age up so we can roll back time on page however other people in the world aren't rolling back time so we really gotta get focusing i mean we gotta get cracking on killing these people but we need the book of life before we do so um, yeah we do need the book of life before we do so i'm fairly sure but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you all enjoyed this part if you did give it a big thumbs up if you have any specific ideas that you would like to see in this challenge then definitely let me know and i will speak to you all in the next part bye guys